Okay. I don't know, man. Like, I saw that video, like everybody else, man. As a person who ran from police, who don't, who ran from the police for many a times, got caught, got away, like, one thing I never do, I never do no high speed chase type stuff though, cause that's dangerous. Like that's that's involving other people, man. Like you don't do no like. I always told myself like if I'm a run, I'm a run. You know what I'm saying? But I'm never gonna be in no car cause you, it's too unpredictable. Like too many things can happen. Like you can't, you can't, you won't, you ain't no stop lights, ain't no stop signs. You you won't go. Like I hate this. Like I hate this thing. Hold on. Like I don't. Hey. What I will say, both of them was wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, she wrong for for shooting them. She she gonna get. I don't I, I don't even know if she gonna get in trouble, but she wrong for shooting him and being negligent. Man, it's, it's so touchy subject. It's like it's almost hard for me to like. It's almost hard for me to be to be. I pride myself on being biased and seeing things from both sides. It's so it's so it's so hard for me to say this. Like I hate making videos like this, like because I'm a black person who's been racially profiled. You know what I'm saying though? Who had a, I I don't want to keep saying my, my my father, but I I personally been racially profiled and all this other stuff. It's just like, but man, what if? I'm going to say something nobody else is saying, man. I'm just going to say it, man. I'm about to get so canceled. Look, though. But uh, without being canceled and being hated by other black people, or is it worth being true to myself? That's why I'm asking my question before I say this. I feel like it's more worth being true to myself in the end because um, none of this going to matter in when you eighty and ninety and all this stuff, it's going more about what did you stand for, I guess. So I'ma say this, man. I don't know. After all this is this done and said, he shouldn't have got back in that car, man. Because usually cops are being aggressive, they're being angry and all this other stuff. Man, I ain't gonna cap I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Those cops was calm. They look caring. Like, when she said, I shot him, that black cop was like, oh, wow. Like, he was genuinely like, the, and the, the, the cop that was arresting him was like, um, oh, you got a warrant, you know? Like, he was just like, you know, I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? You got a warrant, so we got to take you. He wasn't throwing him against the car. No, everything was calm. Like, man, he didn't want to go to jail, man. I, I know I know that feeling. I know that thought. Like, like, I ain't about to go to jail. I'm about to get away from this. You know what I'm saying? Though? Like, for whatever reason, like, I want to be on the streets. Like, I done done that before, you know what I'm saying, though? Once again, I never did it in the car, you know what I'm saying? Because I never, I always told myself I was never going to high-speed chase. It's too unpredictable. Because high-speed chase, you can't stop. You got to, you won't, no matter what, you got to do 90. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, y'all. What if, what if this, all right? Number one, she dead. She's wrong for shooting him. And she should get whatever going to come to her. I don't know if something going to come to her because, once again, he resisted arrest. And he got in the car, and it could have been used as a um. It could have been used as a weapon. You know what I'm saying, though? Cause think about this. Once again, she's wrong for shooting him. For anybody who's saying that, like she's wrong for shooting him. So let me preface that. Like I'm totally on your side for that. She should know better. But what if he got in that car? And like all high speed chases. And most hot, I'm gonna say all oh, most hot speed chases in badly, right? What if he got in that car and accelerated? What if he got away? Like, what if he got away? And what, and what if people was walking across the street? What if people was coming down the street? What if people was on like, man, there's so many variables, man. Or what if he got in that car while the cops are still on him, dragged those cops, a cop fell under the tire. A cop got hit with the side. I'm saying, I'm just, I'm just saying, on oh, for sake of argument, what if all that happened? What if she prevented that? Now she should have tased him to prevent that. Of course, she should have tasered him to prevent that. I'm not saying she shouldn't have tasered him. 
I'm not saying she should have shot him. So don't ever twist my words. She's wrong. I, I'm saying that so many times. She's wrong for shooting him. She's going to get what she needs to get for shooting him. I don't know if she's going to get something because she's going to have a lawyer. She's going to have the best lawyer the police force is going to pay for. Her. She got a couple things working for her. She's a white woman, which is the number one thing to be in this world. Number two, she's a police officer. Number three... Police officers always have other police officers back and they got money, unlimited money. So you get the best lawyer. And the best lawyer, I'm, I'm thinking like a lawyer. I'm going to be a lawyer real quick. I'm trained. I'm with the school. My only goal is to keep my client out of jail. Your honor, your honor, let's not, you know, let's not forget the fact that somebody died in this. And that's wrong. And, and you know, and, and she's sorry remorseful for that. She's a lady that's been serving our community for 25 years she's doing a mistake I, I i know it's a hard mistake but mistakes happen in a dangerous job was she negligent of course she knows better than this but your honor he got in the car he's going to use his car as a weapon he could have dragged to somebody they tried to have a peaceful arrest he had a warrant and Outside of the event, things could have happened if the event didn't happen. Yes, she should not have shot him. A tailor should have been used. But, Your Honor, she possibly could have saved somebody else's life. And that's when, she, and that, and that's, and that's when everything going to go crazy. I'm telling you, you going to do it just like that. And everybody's going to be like, well, he did try to resist. He did try to start the call over. Why cops? He could have dragged the cop. He could have killed other people if he weren't trying to get away. That's exactly how it's going to go. And I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Now, is she going to do time or not? I don't know. It's a toss-up when it comes to a cop. You know what I'm saying, though? It's a toss-up. She might be like Amber Geiger got time. I don't know. I hope it don't go like that. But I'm just saying, like, a black person, man. From now on, and I know just shut up and, resist, shut up and comply and all the other stuff. But man, for real, you almost got to make sure your people, if something ever happened to you, to make sure your people can have your case, the world can be on your side, your lawyer can help you out after something happened, which I hope nothing happens ever. Hold up. Hope something never happens ever to anyone, include myself. But man, you know, as a black person, black woman, man, number one thing you to do is try your best to remain calm. Like, to give your not not saying you have you have to comply to another human being or or no nah, you know what I'm saying or they your god or your king and you must do what they say. It's to the point where you have to do that. Like you have to do that to not get killed. Like you have to if you're a black person you can't listen, man. Black people, I don't care if you're a racist white person on this channel, right? You cannot do. I'm a, listen. You cannot do what a white person does. Period. And I don't care who, who, you cannot ever do what a white person does. And I'm saying that as a black person from the hood, St. Clair, Cle like, I'm telling you, a person who sold drugs, a person who did things, a person who had, may, have, may or may not had a gun, a person that did a lot of things, a person who lost fights, won fights, been in shootouts. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, hey, because I care about my black people, right? I care about all people, but listen, especially black people, man. You can't resist, man. Like you, you if if you resist, no, you might get killed. You can't, you can't be y'all see on TV, white people yelling, "Cops, you!" and all this other stuff. I'll kick you, and I pay your taxes, and all this other stuff, and slamming the doors, and leaving, and driving off. You can't do that, man. Forget what's right and wrong. You might die. Ain't no right and wrong. Get somebody killing you, bro. Cause you want, you want to be the only one to get killed, like. We can send you a funeral. We can do all this stuff. Get money. Your, your family about to spend that money off of whatever lawsuit they get. They going to spend that money. And, and like, you're going to have two generations. They going to know your name. Like, they about to live fine. Like, bro, like, it ain't worth it. Like, it ain't worth it. Like, don't make yourself a martyr because, like, man, I ain't saying if you don't comply, they going to kill you. But they, the, you got... It's like anything in life, percentages, right? The percentage of you not resisting 
makes your life a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, the percentage is better of you not getting killed. Like, as a black person, do not resist. Like, don't resist. I don't care what. Go file a complaint. Go do whatever you got to do. F fight your law. F if they do something to you, fight it. And you know what I'm saying? Go get a lawyer. You can get paid, bro. And be alive and get paid. Like, why, why would you... Why would you get killed and have your family spend your money? How your girl spend your money with another dude? Come on, man. What? Like, no, nah, man. Like, hey, man. I ain't saying, like, I was, no one, I'm going to preface this video. I ain't saying what she did is right. She's all the way wrong. You know what I'm saying, though? But y'all know y'all cannot be resistant, man. Y'all can't get back in no car and act like you about to start your car, bro. Come on, man. Anybody who's seen this video, man, please do not do that, man. Stop doing that, man. They tell y'all, hey, just stop, man. Just got, keep your hands out the car. Whatever you got to do, man. You know they got a reason to try to kill you, so why would you even give them the reason? I'm going to give, I'm going to do a play-by-play. -play. The cops was right. They was calm. They was cool. He could have got arrested with the jail, been bonded out. He chose to get back in the car, man. You can't do that, bro. Like, you could have been reaching for something, anything. Like, in my mind, if I'm a cop, I ain't going to capture you. I, If I'm a cop, I got a person. He go back in the car. Man, I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't care. Listen, I don't care if you train me for 50 years. I done did it 10 hours a day. I don't care, man. All that go out the window when your life is on the line, bro. Like, I don't care what y'all talking about. I don't care what you saying. You ain't never been... People, you ain't never been in that situation before when your life is in danger. I've been in that. I've been choked out, like, from the back, not knowing somebody behind me. Like, it's a scary feeling. I passed out. Like, what the? What if I would have died? Like, I would have killed that dude. Like, what are you talking about? Like, if I had an opportunity. What if I, I would have, like, suffocated or something wrong with my neck or something? Like, I'm just not knowing nobody behind me. But given opportunity, if I knew somebody behind me, I'm handling my business. Just like you should. Just like you would. What you mean? Like, y'all got to stop acting like these police ain't people also. All cops ain't bad. All cops ain't good. All people ain't good. All people ain't bad. But the thing, we all want to live, right? So if, so if I see somebody going to the car and I just saw a cop get killed. Like, y'all see that video of the cop getting killed? He was stopping somebody. And the dude had a gun. He came out and shot the cop in the head. But the cop is wrong for letting the dude had a gun. Being nice. Trying to escalate the situation, man. Hell, man, listen, man. A traffic stop is dangerous. You know what I'm saying, though? You never know what the other person thinking. But, hey, I ain't going to cap to y'all, man. You, What would you do if you got somebody and they started, while your, while your friends or anybody else is like, it, man, and you trying to get in the car, you're in a dangerous situation. You don't know. All this stuff happens so fast, you expect it to think. Once again, she should not have had a gun in her hand. But once again, like, man, I don't know what it, you don't know what you would do if somebody is doing that. I ain't saying you shoot that dude, man. Once again, I want to say that 20 times so people know. I ain't saying you shoot him. I'm just telling you, man, don't do stuff like that for anybody. Don't. What if you what if you in a car, you fight somebody, or somebody you just walk to the car, somebody grab you, and y'all fight, and then he doing he going like this, trying to go in the car, right? Trying to grab you. What would you do? And you had a gun? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Though, like, if I was a cop, this dude trying to run off, bro, like, I don't know. But I, I knew I wouldn't have shot him for real. But once again, I don't know that. Like, I know the difference between a taser and a gun. That's a bad excuse. She had that gun out for a second. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not saying she. I, I saw I saw remorse as soon as she shot him. Like, oh my god, I shot him. Like, so I don't think she's a racist. I think she made a mistake. That's a bad mistake to make. You can't make mistakes like that, obviously. But man, all that could have been avoided. All I'm saying is, all that could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. It could have been avoided. I don't know. I ain't did deep in the story. I don't know because he had a. Something in his uh, uh, air freshener is a mirror, or he had a warrant too. They put him over because he had a warrant also, and that was added as an excuse. Like, I don't know this, man. Like, but I'm just saying, like, don't be giving them no reason to pull you over, man. And then you got a warrant, and then you resist arrest. 
Because I done done all of that. But I made sure I wasn't driving when that happened. Like, I don't know, man. I'm, I, you come, I'm talking from a person that ran from the cops. Could have got a taser deployed for, for me. Did not. They they was actually cool. Like, they just chased me for a while. You know what I'm saying, though? And it was, I knew that was kind of, uh, yeah. But, yeah, they didn't, they didn't shoot me. They didn't. They they put their tasers out, but they didn't like deploy it. So I can talk about this stuff because I really like live like that. But I don't know, man. The, we, black people, we can't give them a reason to do that to us, man. Because they gon' you see they gonna kill us. You know what I'm saying, though. So you gotta be smart. I hate to make the video long, but you gotta be smart also, man. Take that as a take that as a lesson, man. You have to almost be as peaceful as possible to not get killed. And that's just the real.